Norway is on the way to accomplish its biggest engineering feat yet, the world's largest and most advanced full-scale ship tunnel. The Stad Ship Tunnel is an architectural wonder set to revolutionize maritime travel. This $308 million tunnel is promising to deliver features like never seen before, stretching 1.7 kilometers with a height of 37 meters and a width of 26.5 meters. It has been designed to accommodate ships weighing up to 16,000 tons. But this is not just any tunnel. This passage, the Stad Peninsula, is one of the most dangerous ones in the world. That's why the Stad Ship Tunnel is such a huge undertaking. But how exactly is such an ambitious project being brought to life in such treacherous conditions? And what innovative methods and technologies are being used to make this dream a reality? Firstly, we need to address why we need the Stad Ship Tunnel. The problem is simple. The waters around Norway's Stad Peninsula are some of the most dangerous in the world. Situated on the Scandinavian Peninsula, Norway is known for its complex geography, featuring hills, mountains, and an extensive coastline. This terrain has led to the creation of numerous other tunnels for safer transportation, earning Norway the title of Country of a Thousand and One Tunnels. Among these is the Lerdal Tunnel, one of the world's longest tunnels that is 24.5 kilometers long. With massive waves, strong winds, and unpredictable storms, sailing here is a nightmare. This is about the rough seas being a major safety hazard for all ships, causing delays and risky trips. Hence the proposal for building the Stad Ship Tunnel. Think of it as a safe shortcut. Instead of braving these wild waters, ships can go through the tunnel in a calm and protected voyage. This area has always been a problem, even for Vikings, who were known for their excellent maritime skills. The Vikings used to have to carry their longships across the Stad Peninsula, the area where the Stad ship tunnel is being constructed. This practice was known as portage and was for such vulnerable and rough coastal waters. So, the need and concept of the Stad Ship Tunnel are not new. Aside from the Vikings, it dates back to 1874 when it was first advanced in a Norwegian newspaper, Nordra Bergenhus. The idea then was to construct a railway tunnel to transport boats across the peninsula. This early vision laid the groundwork for the current project, which was revived in the late 20th century and included in Norway's National Transport Plan for 2014 to 2023. With this tunnel, the plan is to make it a safe trip for maritime travelers. It's about turning a risky sea route into a smooth, secure path revolutionizing sea travel in the region. However, the Stad Ship Tunnel stands out for its unique purpose of being the largest full-scale ship tunnel in the world. This includes facilitating cruise ships like the Hurtigruten, Havila, and Kajstruten. The tunnel is a new way to think about sea travel and safety. The Norwegian Coastal Administration is overseeing this ambitious project. With a growing budget, the project was initially estimated at $132 million but it now exceeds $220 million. It will provide a safer and more reliable navigation route for ships around the challenging Stad Peninsula. But what exactly is the engineering process behind this coastal project? The construction of the Stad Ship Tunnel involves conventional road building techniques, starting with underground drilling and the use of explosives for efficiency. Expertise in underground drilling is crucial for this project. It's anticipated that construction will begin at both ends of the peninsula, eventually meeting in the middle to form two interconnected tunnels. Post-drilling, the tunnel's roof and walls will be reinforced with concrete, followed by the addition of service lanes. The next phase involves material excavation inside the tunnel, proceeding layer by layer downwards. Prior to this, temporary coffer dams are installed at each entrance. They are designed by the renowned Norwegian architecture firm Snohetta. These coffer dams, essential for preventing seawater intrusion, enable safe excavation below sea level. The excavation is expected to yield about 4.4 million cubic meters of rock, which is equivalent to 750,000 truckloads. 
Upon completion of this, the focus shifts to installing lighting and gradually flooding the tunnel, after which the cofferdams are removed. The massive amount of excavated rock, comparable in weight to 35 of the world's largest cruise ships, poses a significant transportation challenge. This is due to the inadequate road infrastructure around the peninsula. As a result, barges are utilized to transport the rock material. Prior to its construction, the Stad ship tunnel underwent extensive research and testing, ensuring its feasibility. This includes simulations in a testing pool in Trondheim, specifically conducted to confirm safe ship navigation through the tunnel. Additionally, digital models were used to visualize ship approach and effectively manage tunnel traffic. Key findings from these tests include several important features. Firstly, the implementation of traffic light systems at each end of the tunnel ensures orderly navigation. Secondly, the tunnel has the capacity to handle up to five large ships per hour, maintaining a minimum distance of 400 meters between them. Additionally, there are provisions for smaller ships to pass simultaneously. Ships traversing the tunnel will be limited to a maximum speed of five knots. The completion of this tunnel will offer significant benefits to Norway's maritime operations. As mentioned, the primary benefit of the Stad ship tunnel is to provide a safe passage through the peninsula, significantly reducing the risk of maritime accidents and casualties. The tunnel is also set to deliver considerable economic benefits. By allowing ships to bypass the Stad Peninsula, the tunnel will reduce travel distances by approximately 56 kilometers, translating into significant time and fuel savings for shipping companies. This reduction in travel time and costs is expected to have a ripple effect on the efficiency of shipping operations, potentially leading to lower costs for transported goods. Also, the colossal tunnel will aid in reducing emissions from ships, contributing to environmental sustainability. Researchers estimate a reduction in fuel consumption by about 60% for ships around 40 meters in length and 30% for larger vessels around 140 meters long. However, this ambitious project comes with its own series of challenges and delays that have impacted its progress. Initially planned to start in 2022, the commencement of construction has been pushed back due to several key factors, leading to significant alterations in the project's timeline and budget. One of the primary challenges has been the pioneering nature of the project. Building a tunnel of this scale for ships is unprecedented, bringing with it a host of unique engineering and logistical challenges. This is not a standard road tunnel. The Stad ship tunnel requires adaptation to marine conditions like seawater and fog, demanding more advanced and robust construction techniques. This complexity has necessitated additional research and refinement, inevitably leading to delays. Economic feasibility has also been a major concern. A critical report by Det Norsk Veritas in 2011 cast doubt on the tunnel's cost effectiveness, indicating that the expenses might outweigh the benefits. Infrastructure challenges have further complicated the project. The remote location of the tunnel on the Stad Peninsula means that standard road transport for materials may not be feasible. Most materials must be transported by sea, a logistical issue that requires careful coordination and planning, adding to the project's complexity. Right now, the focus is on getting everything ready to start construction. The Norwegian Coastal Administration, Keist Verket, is in charge and they're about to choose the companies that will build the tunnel. They plan to sign contracts by the third quarter of 2024. This means that actual construction might start by the end of 2024. Once they start building, it's going to take around five to six years to finish. So, if everything goes as planned, the tunnel should be ready by around 2028 or 2029. It's a big step forward in engineering and could change how we think about building tunnels for ships. So, would you go to Norway to check out the Stad ship tunnel? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating engineering insights. Thank you for watching.